Hey everyone, are you ready for some PUBG Mobile magic? I've been sharing tips and guides for over 3 years now. But this video is going to be extra special. As a 5 year player, I'm excited to provide you with the ultimate settings guide. Whether you are into TDM, classic or just started the game. I've got you covered with tips on basic and advanced controls, sensitivity, layout, graphics and more. I have made it super easy to navigate. Just check out the video description to find the topics you are looking for. Let's dive in. Starting with the basics of controls. Make this option always on. It will add a new firing option. By touching this, your camera will not move and it makes your aim super accurate especially while you zoom in. And you can disable the right side fire button from your layout. While using snipers or shotguns, do you prefer to shoot immediately upon tapping the fire button or upon releasing it? The optimal choice is tapping. So leave these two options on tap and don't change them. Another important part is the scope setting. Set scope mode to hold. It makes you super fast while scoping. Disable camera rotation while ADF as you don't want your camera to move when touching the scope button. Enable scope switch so you can swiftly switch between scopes without opening your backpack. Make the fatal length adjustment on hold. It makes you super fast while adjusting your scope zoom. And put this option on tap to use. It's related to this canted side scope. Let's fix the peaking settings. Make peak mode on hold. This makes you super fast. Disable peak and open scope because sometimes you just peak without opening the scope. Disable camera rotation while leaning because you don't want your camera to move while touching peaking buttons. Alright, let's proceed to the advanced control section. Enable universal mark as it's incredibly useful for calling out to your teammates. Defend the mark. Someone has been here. Enable headshot sound effects. Separate jump and climb because you don't want to accidentally climb while attempting a jump shot. Keep the merch crouch and prone option disabled. If it is enabled, you will have one button crouch and prone. If you hold it for one second, it will prone. Which is not ideal because in some cases, you want to prone immediately. Enable the quick throw feature. This allows you to throw grenades by holding down the designated button. It is beneficial but requires a bit of training to master. Make the throwables quick wheel to switch. This enables you to switch between throwables by dragging your finger accordingly. Activate the transparent UI mode. By holding down the PUBG Mobile logo, make all buttons transparent. Giving you a clean look, 
This feature is currently only available in classic mode. Activate throw consumables. In this case, you can throw a health box for your teammates, which is very useful while you are in a combat. Slide disable by sliding in TDM. You might win the match, but it could decrease your accuracy in close combat, especially in classic modes. Enable it when playing with M24. Enable FPP Swap and FPP Dynamic Holding to improve your view in first person perspective. Set TPP and FPP to maximum level so you can have an iPad view on your mobile device. Set the sprint sensitivity to around 90% but not at maximum as it may be difficult to control your movement in some cases. When your teammates mark the enemy, you cannot see the enemy because the marker blocks the view. Well, let's solve this problem. Set the mark style to modern. Now when you mark the enemy, you can easily see him. And when you shoot, the marker fades. Aim Assist Enable Just remember, Aim Assist won't work in custom rooms like 1v1 DDM. However, it works like a charm in regular matches. So don't let anyone trick you into keeping it turned off. One of your problem is that you can't see the enemy's footprints in room. To solve this problem, set the main screen audio markers to classic mode. Now you can easily detect the enemy's location. Enable auto mark hit locations. When you or your teammate hit an enemy, a marker will automatically be displayed on the enemy. Keep the continuously used bandages enabled. In this case, you just click once on the bandage to use and it will continue using bandages. Whenever you get close to an object, your crosshair automatically changes to a blocked sign. To solve this problem, disable the block sight warning option. Healing prompt enable. Auto open doors enable. Horizontal swap acceleration is a significant topic. But don't worry, I have already made a video about it. You can check it here. However, if you trust me, keep it enabled. Match auto message enable. Activate hold to open map. You can press and hold the mini map to open it and release your finger to close it. While throwing grenades, you can't have a good view and it may cause you to miss the target. To solve this problem, enable show throwable trajectory line to improve accuracy. Enable auto equip melee weapon. In this case, whenever you put away your firearm, it will automatically equip a melee weapon. Default melee weapon carried dagger. You press the reload button, but the enemy is pushing you and you can't cancel it. To solve this problem, set the reload interrupt method to fire interrupt. Now, you can easily cancel reloading by pressing the fire button and if you hold it, you can fire. 
enable auto jump when you are in the plane mark where you want to land and press this button it will automatically land at your marked location it lands very slowly but it's still useful when you are busy during the landing phase enable tap to mark the location and default parachute follow Make the gyroscope always on. The gyroscope feature can really change your career. I highly recommend if you are a new player. And the next problem is you have less visibility behind the cover, especially on the left side. To solve this problem, enable aim feature according to me. Use the aim feature when you lean. or you can peek like this by using aim features If you want a highlight of your gameplay at the end of each match enable this option enable death replay and finally adjust the graphic settings according to me And here is the best sensitivity I have configured so far. You can find all the codes in the video description. Here is my 6 finger clock controls layout for iPad. and five finger claw control layout for the phone you can find all the codes in the video description if this video was helpful support me and i will see you guys in the next one